So today I'd like to demonstrate this TIAC drive. Uh, this one is the MT2ST N50, which can hold 150 MB on a tape, megabytes. And if we go back to a little bit of history, the old <coughs> home computers used audio tape to store uh, small programs and it was just by using existing techniques like existing record players or uh, they transmitted bro broadcasts uh, data program uh, broadcast over FM radio or just audio cassette and it worked but it took very long to load so let's say uh, 10 kilobyte per minute so if you would play a 32k uh, game or something you had to wait for a few minutes but it was cheap and it used existing technologies and then <coughs> the back up systems for uh, professional computers like uh, like the XT and etc you could play uh, you could uh, store data on uh, 50 MB uh, cassettes which is incredibly more than just a, that one could just hold a few hundred KB so if you added this one is 40 or 50 depending on the tape and so the next generation uh, was this one which could hold 150 so it's a little bit different tape it has uh, no back window so let's see uh, how this still works I was looking for the beginning of the tape. So in this data sheet it says the speed of the... So the old one, that one, had a speed of 86.3 kilobyte per second. And this 150 megabyte newer one uh, has a speed of 116k per second. So that's... Yeah, like a whole tape with the old system is one second with this newer system so that's like an incredible uh, increase of capacity and speed so uh, I have here a program that supports this thing it's uh, connected by SCSI uh, we can uh, see that it shows here So it's recognized, etc. It's just a, uh, a Pentium 3 PC with SCSI uh, card in it. So I made a little file to restore. So let's do that. Mm. What do I need to, to click here? Ah, yeah. Ah, yeah. So it's looking for the beginning of the data, it's looking for the header that this software put on, it found the header. 
and it's now like reco uh, restoring the files that I put on the tape. So it's it's just a, a folder I named backup test with a few pictures in it. So in this tape, it makes a track, it runs the tape from beginning to the end, and then the, station, the, the linear head moves one track, and then it's running the tape to the other end, and so it has some very thin tracks. It runs like a snake form, eh? so it runs back to forward, and then forward to back, and then it makes this uh, different tracks on top of each other. So, okay, now right now, uh, I think it's... Uh, it got as far as I... Uh, it's getting as far as it gets. So, yeah, it, it always has some, uh, some defects on the tape, it cannot get past. So it's like a three and a half inch drive with a five and a quarter inch front and this model uh, is in fact uh, from an, uh, an apple oh i didn't expect that completed i saw it was giving an error and i got my folder back so this folder we just restart and it has the files and the files are working oh, yeah, yeah. this one is half yeah and it were some more files I had some more files so the, the, the backup partially is partially restored but anyhow uh, yeah It has a little uh, speed detector. It looks like a pinch roller, but it's certainly not. It's, it's just the, an encoder that measures the tape speed. This is the uh, right read head. And there is an erase head be besides it. And this head can, uh, with a stepper motor and uh, a warm gear, can go up and down to make the various tracks. So. Now this old one I uh, showed working in uh, another video of mine. I use it uh, to play a uh, WAV file directly from the drive to the sound card. So, so that is that. And upcoming, I would like to demonstrate this one. This is the last drive from TIAC that used the, the cassettes that look similar to an audio cassette and this one can hold 600 MB so it's yeah again and then a uh, very large jump in the capacity and this one doesn't have the lever anymore but an electronic eject with a motor so uh, it's also uh, SCSI so I can show you this one in uh, in the next video.